Welcome to Tantrum Mouse Studio D. I'm Kevin Dell. And I'm Melissa Dell. We preview a lot of Kickstarter games throughout the year, and we thought we would share a few of our favorite games that we previewed in 2018. For each of our top 10, we're going to give a brief description of the game, but if it interests you and you want to hear more about it, you can go to our preview videos. And if you stick around to the end of the video, we'll give you some honorable mentions. Number 10. Project L from Board Cubator. This is a Tetris-like game where you collect and upgrade different shaped blocks to place them into patterns. The twist is you get to keep the pieces you collect throughout the game so you can strategically build up your supply. So I thought the cards were pretty interesting, the puzzle cards, mm -hmm. because a lot of them gave you points, but they also gave you a specific piece as a reward. So that added to the strategy of which ones you wanted to try to complete. Is there a piece, a puzzle that you have all the pieces for? Or maybe there's another one that's gonna give you a piece that you really need. So that added an interesting dimension. I like that it's such a simple idea, but it packs a very big punch. I love the puzzles, and you can even arrange your puzzle pieces differently for just one of the cards. Number nine. Heroes Welcome from Pencil First Games. Sometimes a game comes along that flips the script on its head, and that's what Heroes Welcome does. You're playing as the goblin merchants that are playing both sides of the dungeon crawl theme. Basically, you're buying loot off of the heroes once they come out of the dungeon, and then you're melting it down into new weapons to sell to the monsters that are in the dungeon. Yeah, I like that. There's a lot of tongue-in-cheek going on. For a strategic game, it doesn't take itself too seriously. And I enjoy the gameplay, especially anticipating what shops may or may or may or may not be open each round. Number eight. Rallyman GT from Holy Grail Games. This game is all about racing your car around a track as you roll dice. But the dice are used strategically as you move up and down through numbered gears. It's a bit of a puzzle to use them efficiently. Are you going to play it safe or push your luck? And the racetrack itself is fun with all the twists and turns and you have to be in the right gear at the right time to make it around those corners. I like the ratio of strategy to luck in the game. You really do have control over how risky you want to be. You can have some amazing turns, but if you push your luck too far, you might end up as a wrecked mess. I like that you can roll all your dice at once and try and go after those focus tokens. Number seven. Rurk, Dawn of Kiev from Peacekeeper Games. This game features area control, resource management, in auction programming. You have numbered workers, the lower numbers activate earlier, but they're weaker than the higher numbers and they get pushed down to less desirable actions. Figuring out how to order my workers and anticipating what other players are trying to do is one of my favorite parts of the game. That program board is the best. I also like that it's not just about warfare and defeating other players, you can get points in lots of different ways. And I even like the surprise when you defeat one of the rebels, you get to turn it over and see what resource you get. Number six. Robin Hood and the Merry Men from Final Frontier Games. Now there aren't a lot of Robin Hood games out there and I enjoy this theme a lot. You have semi-co-op, full co-op, and solo rules. This isn't as strictly Euro as Final Frontier's other games. You have to be okay with a little output randomness because you could fail on your dice rolls. I like that there are so many things you can do in the game. Should I go rob a carriage or compete in an archery tournament? Maybe I should go help my fellow merry men that are stuck in prison or send someone on the crusade. And the art is great. The Miko did a good job capturing the theme. And we just got the final product in the mail. And these coins, deluxe coins, are amazing. Number five. Fantastic Factories designed by Joseph Chen and Justin Faulkner. This is a card drafting resource management dice worker placement game. I like as you're building your factory cards, you get more bonuses, more powers, and new spots to place your dice. There's definitely an engine building feel to the game. 
and I like that the simultaneous play means that it goes quickly and doesn't really bog down. You can also get points in a lot of different ways, so you can try different strategies. Number four, Loveless and Babbage from Artana Games. This is a real-time game where you use math operations to reach certain numbers for shared or personal goals. You score points by collecting icons. So I always describe this as math made fun. You can do well either by being fast at the math or by going after different things than everyone else. So it's like a big puzzle. I actually am not a big fan of real-time games, but this one works so well trying to figure out what's the best order of operations and figuring out the math. Yeah, Kevin got to try this at Origins, and I didn't, and he came back saying, you have to play this game. So I got a chance to try it for the first time at Gen Con. Number three, Tang Garden by Thundergriff Games. This Tile Lang set collection game has beautiful 3D scenery. So I enjoy tile laying games, and I like how you're creating the garden with this one, but it's not just the flat tiles on the board. You're also placing these vertical skylines, mm -hmm. and you have these figures that you're placing in the garden, and based on what they can actually see is some of the points that you get, and I think that is so interesting. I like that there are different paths to victory, maybe from the tiles or maybe sets of the decorations. And I love, love, love how this looks, especially when the game's over. The board looks amazing. Number two, The Artemis Project by Grand Gamers Guild. This is a dice worker placement game where you're placing out all the dice in one phase and then you're activating them in the next phase. I'm a big fan of worker placement games, especially ones that use dice like Kingsburg or Pulsar 2849, and the Artemis Project does a great job with how it uses the dice. Yeah, there are different areas and the dice resolve differently in each place. Where the resources are, lower dice are going to push higher dice farther down the track, and it could be that some of those dice don't collect resources at all if they get pushed too far down. But don't worry, there's this track in the middle that you can actually go up for those dice that you can't take your actions with. So maybe you want to place your dice at the bottom so that they do get pushed off. That seems like a tricky strategy. <laughs> I do think that this game gives you lots of options. Even though you're rolling dice, the different areas, some of them like higher dice and some of them want lower dice, so you always have choices. You're not going to get uh, shut out just by a dice roll, and it's not going to ruin your game. Number one, Chronicles of Crime by Lucky Duck Games. This is a scenario-based game that immerses players in a mystery they are trying to solve. I love how well this game integrates technology with the app and the VR technology into the board game. Right, because you can scan those cards and you can ask certain characters about other characters or about items, about clues, and their answers are going to change depending on what you scan. So it feels much more interactive and like you have control over the direction of the story a little bit like a video game. Yeah, we love stories and storytelling and mysteries, games like Sherlock Holmes, Consulting Detective, Time Stories, and Detective. I think, I think Chronicles of Crime surpasses them all. And they have so many more expansions planned for the future. And three games that just missed our top 10 of games that we did preview were Villagers from Sinister Fish Games, Guildmaster from Good Games Publishing, and Atlantis Rising from Elf Creek Games. And there were a ton of other great Kickstarter games in 2018 that Tantrum House didn't get a chance to preview. One was Tidal Blades Heroes of the Reef from Druid City Games. Of course, the artwork is amazing, but also I loved how they revealed the storyline of the game throughout the campaign. And we can't mention Kickstarters of 2018 with out talking about Fireball Island from Restoration Games. Yeah, I was so surprised that they got the license to bring that back to life. And if you've seen any of the pictures, people are getting it. I don't, it looks like it's like this tall. It's amazing. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now, one game that Tantrum Mouse did uh, preview 
but it wasn't uh, Studio 3 or Studio D. It was Ryan and Katie from, Katie from Studio Awesome. They re previewed Stygian Society from Ape Games. Melissa and I actually got to play it. It's this cool, um, it has this RPG theme where you're all working together co-op up this, going up this tower, and, but you're actually throwing these cubes in the tower. It's, the mechanics are pretty cool on how you're sort of working that all together, um, trying to defeat the enemies. There's also another game, Western Legends. Yeah, Kevin's really enjoyed playing this one. Now, I didn't actually do a preview video, but I did a review video of Western Legends that you can check on our YouTube channel. So Will and Sarah are actually also talking about doing a top 10 video. Yes, because they preview different games than we do, so their list is going to be completely different. So what were some of your favorite Kickstarter campaigns from 2018? Did you back any of the ones that we mentioned? Well, tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Tantrum House. Feel to the game. And there's other stuff that I like that I don't remember. I love engines. Mm -hmm. I, vroom, a, vroom. Here we go. Continue. I can't, uh, I can't see. see. I can't see. Just black. Contacts. Simultaneous play. Yeah. You do things at the same time. It's awesome. Stop.